Alright, how's it going everybody? This is a multi-block build for the processing array. Uh, this is your controller here, which needs to be front center. I'm doing a little test here, that's why it's already placed in the world. Uh, this is your recipe for it. Uh, this is a outdated recipe, maybe. Uh, we are in the pre-circuit chain, so we have energy flow circuits here. Uh, uses EV robot arms, EV machine hall, Lapatronic energy orb, and a large stainless steel fluid pipe. And then you need the robust tungsten steel casings, which is tungsten steel frame box with six plates. And that is what you use for everything else. Now we are going to be running LV recyclers in this. So we are going to use an HV energy hatch because 16 uh, times 32 by 12. So we're going to put the energy hatch here. Um, any of your hatches and buses can be anywhere you choose. There is no uh, requirement for any of them so there is the maintenance hatch and then we're gonna put casings along the bottom here it's a 3x3 three three, hollow like most so we're gonna fill up the back and the sides and then we're going to actually put the input hatch here and the output hatch up here and because we're using recyclers, we're using, or not hatches, buses. We're using input and output buses. Um, you have to use whatever is proper for the recipe. So like these here are using hatches because they are taking fluid in. You can see the output hatches here. And then you have input hatches here on the back. But because this is recycling, it's going to take buses instead of hatches. So we're using those. So you can see it says one input hatch or bus, one output hatch or bus, one maintenance hatch, one energy hatch, <coughs> and then the tungsten steel casings for the rest of it. Now, you can use multiple hatches if you had, say, hatches or buses. So say you were using a electrolyzer recipe that needed uh, cells and a uh, item a type of dust you could have one just for the cell and one just for the dust like here he's using a UOV input bus to put cells in down here and then his input hatch up here is putting in the fluid so you can use multiple input hatches and buses in whatever array you need. Now, there is what I was actually testing was if all of the uh, maintenance would stay on the controller when it was done, and apparently it does. So 16 machines is the maximum you can do. Um, it doesn't matter if it's LV or MV or Eight, probably HV you just have to make sure you can put enough power into the processing array to run all 16 of the machines that you have in there at the power that you're that it's required to run so for this like I said HV power in will power 16 uh, machines so then we will give it a whack with the hammer here and it is enabled and if we find the XAR dude he can call us up some apples or something that'll come in here and feed this and we can see it actually turn on and run they're coming alright thank you it's gotta be great to have the power of the digital index in your hand and just call up whatever you need when you do yeah it's nice it also <laughs> causes lots of lag so it's worth it <laughs> <laughs> there we go apples are coming in and it's getting ran and then we should be 
there's a scrap coming in up there in the output so there is your multi-block build for the processing array if you have any questions let us know leave us a comment stop by the Greg Tech Help discord channel uh, whatever you would like and we will be glad to answer your questions have a good one